Alrighty folks, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel, and welcome to my NASCAR Playoff Editions for 2022. Obviously, the NASCAR play Playoffs are now officially here. 16 drivers have already been determined, and they are listed right here in the round of 16. Chase Elliott, Joey Logano, Ross Chastain, Kyle Larson, William Byron, Danny Hamlin, Ryan Blaney, Tyler Reddick, Kevin Harvick, Christopher Bell, Kyle Busch, Chase Briscoe, Daniel Suarez, Austin Sindrick, Alex Bowman, and Austin Dillon. And that is currently your 16 drivers that are here in the NASCAR playoffs, and with some surprising names not even on this list. Kurt Busch not being on the list, he, uh, uh he, uh, refrained, like, you know, his, uh, playoff waiver, so he decided that go into the playoffs besides of how his uh, season's currently right now. So, bit surprise there. Brad Keselowski not being listed on here, of course, with his penalty that, with the penalty that he had early in the year when he lost 100 driver's points, he had to win in order to get in, but unfortunately, he could not do it. So, obviously, Brad Keselowski did not make it in, and the biggest namer that's not even on here is one of the most recent NASCAR champions, Martin Truex Jr., not being in the playoffs here. And of course, with me being a Martin Truex Jr. fan, it really sucks. Like, it really sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> but anyways, we, we got our top 16 drivers right here, and now we're about to find out, like, who I think will make it into the round of 12. Of, like, of course, right now, the round of 12 is only locked, it, it's only unlocked right now. Uh, the round of eight and the championship four has yet to be unlocked, and of course with the champion on the line as well on October 31st. So for right now, we're mainly just gonna look at the round of 12 and who I think will make it in, and then we'll move on to the round of eight and championship four as the week as the as the weeks passes by. But of course, with Darlington being this week, let's see who I think will get it done at Darlington. So first off, I got my I got I got eyes on both Kevin Harvick and Denny Hamlin. Both of these drivers are have the most wins at Darlington that are currently active at this moment. Denny Hamlin with four wins and Kevin Harvick with only three wins. And I think you might say, oh, you you probably gonna pick Denny Hamlin here as your Darlington as your Darlington pick. But let's look at Kevin Harvick here. If we take a look at his stats right here, he has 29 starts, 2 poles, 13 top 10s, and 18 top 5s, with only 3 wins. But if we take a look at Danny Hamlin, he has 20 starts, 1 pole, 11 top 10s, 15 top 5s, and, and 4 wins. Now, if I compare Danny Hamlin and Kevin Harvick with the most top 10s and top 5s, obviously, Kevin Harvick would have took the cake. So I think it's fair that I think Kevin Harvick will move on into the round of 12 with this win this weekend at Darlington. Honestly, I, I, I really think, I really do. I mean, I really do, honestly. All right, let's move on to Kansas Speedway here. Kansas Speedway is two weeks away. And my main guys that I'm looking for is Danny Hamlin and Kyle Busch. Obviously, Danny Hamlin all, all has like three wins at Kansas Speedway with Kyle Busch with only two. Both of these drivers almost have the exact same top fives, and they both have the same amount of top tens at this track. But I think the guy that I'm currently looking for right now is Kyle Busch. I think he has a I think he has a good shot at this. Obviously, obviously Kyle Busch has like you know not been like you know as dominant as before. But I do see Kyle Busch. Make, getting it done at Kansas Speedway and finally getting that second win that he's been looking for and he locks himself into the round of 12. Alright, and three weeks away from now, it will be Bristol Motor Speedway. Alright, obviously my big, my big guy right now is Kyle Busch winning at Bristol. Eight wins, 14 top 10s, and 19 top 5s, which is unbelievable. Probably the most out of all the drivers currently on the so, I would not be surprised if Kyle Busch ends up winning at Bristol like he did in the Bristol Dirt, with both Tyler Reddick and Chase Briscoe, who are also both in the playoffs, spawn out on the last lap, taking each other out. Kyle Busch somehow squeezes by and takes the lead away from Tyler Reddick and gets the dub at Bristol Dirt. So, obviously, not a bit surprised putting Kyle Busch as probably the winner at Bristol Motor Speedway, 
and he gets a second win in the playoffs. And obviously the drivers who I think will make it into the next round will, will definitely be Danny Hamlin, Chase Selya, Joey Logano, I'm putting those two in there. Ross Chastain, you gotta look out for Ross Chastain. Kyle Larson, I guess Ryan Blaney. Christopher Bell, I'm seeing. I'm obviously seeing Christopher Bell getting it done. Tyler Reddick, I'm having a, like, you know, a, a big, like, you know, I'm having a lot of high hopes for Tyler Reddick in this, uh, in this round. But I'm putting a big one right here, Alex Bowman. I'm definitely putting Alex Bowman into the next round. And this is going to be a bit shocker here. But I'm going to put Daniel Suarez in the round of 12. Chase Briscoe, obviously he got the win at Phoenix. But ever since then, he has just not been as dominant as before. Austin Sindrick's obviously a rookie. And he got he got into the playoffs after he won the Daytona 500 earlier this year. But ever since then, he has not been as dominant. And the stats have really not been, has really not been pleasing me. And I'm... I'm pretty sure Austin Dillon, I'm Austin Sindrick will not make it into the next round into the playoffs. Now the reason why I didn't put William Byron into the round of 12 is because ever since after he got his two wins at, uh, at Atlanta and Martinsville, he has not been showing enough speed. Like I have not seen any winning car from that number 24 horse ever since Martinsville. So yes, even with two wins, I don't see William Byron making it into the round of 12. And I obviously do not see Austin Dillon making it into the round of 12. Obviously, with him passing through the field after that humongous wreck that, that caused by the rain, taking out like 17 to 19 cars, Dillon somehow sweeps by and takes the lead, and he ends up winning the race. Obviously, his season has just not been good. His season has been awfully terrible. Like, I have not seen winning car like, we have besides the, the, the Coca-Cola 600. But ever since then, I have been not seeing winning speed out of that car. So obviously, I have not seen Austin Dillon making it into the playoffs. And there you have it. That is who I think will get the... Well, that is who I think the 12 drivers will be making it in into the round of 12. Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch, Danny Hamlin, Chase Sawyer, Joey Logano, Ross Chastain, Kyle Larson, Ryan Blaney, Christopher Bell, Tyler Reddick, Alex Bowman, and Daniel Suarez. So obviously, we're gonna have to wait until to the 18th of September. Like you have to wait till the to the 4th of September, which is this Sunday actually. It will because that's when it will be open. Then, so pretty much after Darlington, we'll uh, get um uh, the round of we'll get my round of eight predictions ready. Well, honestly, I think after Bristol, I'll get my uh, round of eight predictions ready because that way, after Bristol, the official round of twelve will be this will be ready, and I'll switch them up then, and then we'll start from there. And who are, and the official round of twelve drivers, I'll pick them out and see who I think will make it into the round of eight. And of course, that's gonna be after Bristol Motor Speedway. But yeah, again, here is who I think will make it into the round of twelve, and this and. Obviously, the four drivers on the on the left, William Byron, Tr Chase Briscoe, Austin Sindrin, and Austin Dillon. Obviously, I'm putting those four guys out of the round of 16. But again, here is my here is my round of 12. That was my, that was my round of 12 predictions and the 12 drivers that I put it in. Make sure you watch out for those guys because obviously, they're really trying their best to at least get a win. I, especially Ryan Blaney, especially still with zero wins. Obviously, I think I think Ryan Blaney will one day get himself that victory, and it could be a Darlington, Kansas, or Bristol, and they and he might prove me wrong. But we're just gonna have to find out and see what the speed of that number twelve car looks like, and we'll find out from there. So yeah, that's basically gonna do it for my round of twelve predictions. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. See you guys later.